Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CIR Entertainment, I'm your host Don Hamilton guys and today we're going to be talking about more AQ1 biology guys following on from the retina rods and cones where I'm going to be going to specifically the rods and the cones I do apologize while I have a really bad cold so if I cough I do apologize um, I'll try and keep it to a minimum but I'm not in full control of it so I do apologize for that I'm just a wee bit pretty at the moment but I will try and get through this, it's not going to be a very long video so we left off at the trichromatic theory, which is basically about uh, the iodops drops and having three different forms of wavelengths, and which is green, red, and blue, and these allow for different colors to be distinguished whenever we see. So, for example, in green iodops, in green only iodops, you'll see green, and red only, you'll see red, and blue only, you'll see blue. If all three are stimulated, then it will be white. If green and blue are stimulated, then it's cyan. If it's red and blue, then it's magenta, and then if it's red and green, it's yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. So the similarities and differences then between rods and cones. Well, the outer segment of a rod is shaped like a rod and a cone is shaped like a cone. The pigment of a rod is rhodopsin, whilst a cone is iodopsin. Rods do not detect colour while cones can. Rods show convergence and cones do not. In visual acuity, the rod will have low convergence, producing an image that lacks detail, but cones have a one-to-one -one connection with the brain, producing high detailed images. The distribution of rods and cones explains the blind spot and the, the blind spot and why it is to distinguish shapes but not colour at the peripheral vision. There's more rods at the right side of the retina facilitating the peripheral vision on the left side, and this converse arrangement exists in the right eye, vice versa for the left. So the importance of convergence. Uh, sensitivity is the ability to detect low light levels as rods are more sensitive than cones. In visual acuity, the degree of detail which can be seen in cones have better visual acuity than rods. The difference is explained by the connections that they make with the neurons of the, of the optic nerve. So finally, we're going to talk about binocular vision and visual fields. Well, prey animals will have eyes positioned on opposite sides, given the widest possible view, uh, widest possible field of view, facilitating the detection of potential predators. So, for example, rabbits. Their eyes are very far back, so they can more or less see behind them. Predators, however, like lions and humans, have eyes positioned in front of their heads, so they can use both eyes to view the object. This is called binocular vision. This creates a single image and a more accurate judgment of distance. Stereoscopic vision is a result of increased de depth perception. Thank you for watching this video. I've been Dylan Hamilton from CR Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.